we're going to learn the post stitch. I'm going to show you the front post and back post stitch in this one video. First, we're going to start with the front post stitch. We'll do a few rows of that. So what I've done so far is I chained 10, chained three more, and then did 10 double crochets across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so we are going to, and then I chained three to build my start. Um, so to start this, sorry, I should just chain two. So when you do a post stitch, front post stitch or back post stitch, you're going to be dealing with this little guy. This is the post. And instead of going in this hole here, we're going to be going around the post. So, I'm going to show you. Also, I hope you don't mind my weekend nails. These are just some press-ons from Target. So I feel pretty on the weekends. Anyway, so we're going to yarn over, insert our hook in between the posts. We're going to go it like this. Yarn over again, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. So we did a double crochet, but instead of it being inside the stitch, it went around the post. So it kind of pulls this bit forward, adds some texture. I'm going to show you again. Yarn over, insert your hook under the post. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Alright, I'll do it a little closer and slower. Yarn over into the post. Sorry. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yeah. It kind of built up some texture. This is what the back side looks like. Because we did a front post stitch, the normal stitches that we would go through to create our um, crochet rows gets pushed to the back of the work. So you have this kind of cool texture. Chain two at the end of the row and turn. And then I hope you can see. Here's our posts. This is the post right here. So if we were going to continue and do front post stitch, we would go in here and it would push these stitches back. stitch and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, 
this is just three rows of, well, two rows of front post stitch, but this is our first row, and then when we turned our work, this is our second row. So if you were going to do front post stitch both ways through your pattern, it would give you a, a texture in between your rows, kind of like that. Let's put that to the side. I will start the this one and get back with you in a second. I did my first row of double crochet. I chained two. Now we're gonna do the back post stitch. So it's the same movements, except we're gonna go the back way like this. So we're gonna yarn over, insert our hook behind from behind, in front of through the other way. Yarn over again, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And so this leaves the front little braid in front. Show you again. Yarn over, insert. Post. And over, pull through. And over, pull through two. And over, pull through two. Make sure I'm getting this. Okay. So here's here's our post. This little guy. Yarn over. Insert your needle behind. Over, pull through. And over, pull through two. And over, pull through two. First row down here, our second row up here, and then in between is the braid of stitches. So, a front post stitch. So, this front post stitch row at the top is basically the same as the back post stitch here. Um, the only difference is when you combine it with a certain number of stitches. Um, in a certain pattern, you can create a basket weave, but just knowing the basic, the basic steps to create the stitch is, is important. Um, I can show you guys the basket weave in a separate video, but this was just to focus on how to create the front and back post stitch. And let me know if this, if this video was clear, if it wasn't, I can redo it. Um, but I do appreciate you guys watching my videos and um, y'all have a good day. Bye.